One of the most important muscle groups to focus on when you are building muscle and trying to get strong is your core. Your core is made up of the muscles in your torso, and we're mostly familiar with the abdominals or the abs, but there's also some other muscles that are important for maintaining your core stability and keeping your back safe while you're exercising. When you go to do exercises that are more compound and complex like squats and deadlifts, bench press, lunges, all of these exercises require you to keep your torso rigid and maintain a tall posture to stay safe while you're doing the exercise. So having strong core muscles is really important. Now let's take note here that developing the muscles in the core is not necessarily going to help you to reduce belly fat in your abdomen area. Remember that reducing belly fat is mainly a factor of being in a calorie deficit and also eating a high fiber diet but it's really important to train the core so that you can exercise safely and be able to do exercises that do lend themselves to fat loss. The muscles that we mainly wanna focus on when developing a strong core are the abdominals in the front of your torso, as well as the obliques in your sides, your internal and external obliques. You also have your erector spinae muscle, which runs along your back. There's also a muscle called the transversus abdominis, which runs like a corset all along your core. So when you are just a beginner to resistance training, it's important to do isolation exercises to connect with those muscles so that you can activate them isometrically later on in other exercises. One important and foundational exercise that you should be doing in the beginning, and also if you're an advanced exerciser, is what's called imprinting. Now this is an exercise that comes from Pilates. Essentially with imprinting, printing, your goal is to maintain engagement in your abdominals and those deep core muscles. Practicing imprinting will help you to become more connected and aware of the muscles in your abdomen, your abdominals, as well as your transverse abdominis and your pelvic floor muscles. These are all important to engage whenever you're doing any kind of exercise. Begin laying on the floor, face up with your knees bent and your feet on the floor. And just relax your hands to each side. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, Try to draw your belly button towards your spine, engaging your abdominals, and allow your pelvis to tilt. As you do this, you're going to feel your lower back press into the floor. That is the imprinting part of this exercise. So imprint the floor with your lower back, hold for a moment, and then inhale and relax your abdominal muscles. Practice this again for several repetitions, exhaling as you press your lower back, into the floor trying to bring your belly button towards your spine and engage those deep abdominal muscles. Now when you're doing other exercises on the floor like dead bugs or leg raises, you want to maintain that imprint of your lower back into the floor while your legs move. So this is a foundational exercise that you really wanna carry with you into other exercises. It's gonna help you to connect with the pelvic floor muscles, help you connect with your abdominals, and to maintain your back in a safe position when you're doing exercises on the floor. Other exercises that I really like for beginners to use and for my advanced exercises to use as well are the cat cows, the crunches, supermans or swimmers. All of these are great exercises for helping to connect with and isolate work in the different core muscles. Crunches are a great way to connect with and work on your abdominals, which are responsible for spinal flexion. Bird dogs, swimmers, supermans are great exercises for helping you to practice spinal extension and engaging the erector spinae muscles. Cat cows are awesome for helping you to develop spinal mobility and control with your abdominals as well as your erector spinae. And any type of twisting exercise like Russian twists, seated or standing twists, the twist and reach exercise or twist crunches, those are all great for engaging your obliques in your sides of your torso. Stabilizing exercises like the plank are another great way to engage all of the core muscles and especially the transversus abdominis. So all of these exercises and their variations are really important to include in your weekly workout routine, no matter what your level is. As a beginner, or an advanced exerciser. Developing the core and maintaining a strong core is crucial for keeping your spine safe and healthy. You may also notice that strengthening your core allows you to hold your body in better posture even when you're not exercising. And sitting or standing with better posture can help reduce your chronic pain in your back, 
shoulders, or neck. So there's a lot of reasons to incorporate core exercises into your workout routine. I personally like to include a core exercise for one or more of the core muscles in every workout, especially the ones that I design for beginners. But you can also do a core focused training session where all of the exercises you do focus on one or more of the muscles in the core. If you're doing one of my trainerized programs, you've already got core exercises in your program. But if you are programming for yourself, make sure that you pick a few core exercises to incorporate into your program every week. 